Welcome to Bridging Gaps, the business podcast sharing the challenges and stories of fellow business owners. Hello and welcome. I'm Deborah Levitt, your host. Today I'm joined by Richard Woods from the Lead Gen Academy. As you probably know, I've interviewed Richard on a number of occasions, and one of the things that I love about it is that every time I speak to Richard, I seem to find out a little bit more about him, something I didn't know before, which is really wonderful. In today's episode, Richard and I are talking about the Hampshire Business Expo, some of Richard's experience at exhibitions generally, and what he's going to be doing at the talk that he, Jake Liddell of WPA, and Nell Optibeek, an action coach, will be doing on the day itself, the 26th. They've got the lunchtime slot, and I promise you it's going to be a fantastic session. I'll be talking to Jake and to Nell in future episodes, and also sharing a little bit more about my plans for my stand, which is Stand 44, on the day, so that you know what to look out for and what to expect. Please join me now in welcoming Richard to the show. Hi, Richard. How are you? Well, thank you so much for inviting me along to the podcast. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. You'll be happy to know there's no dog to distract you this time. Oh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> useful. <laughs> the most friendly dog in the world. Yeah, not, not very audio friendly. Though. <laughs> <laughs> so, Richard, I think you've done expos before, haven't mm. you? Yeah, I mean, I started my career doing expos. Um, I used to import stuff from India and China and bring them back to the UK and show them at the uh, big um, autumn and spring fairs at the NEC Conference Centre, some of the biggest trade shows um, in the country. We also went on a trade show tour. We did Torquay, went up to Scotland to do trade shows, um, went all the way over to, to Ireland as well doing trade shows. So, so we, we are quite adverse with doing trade shows but what I love about this one the Hampshire Business Expo is it's right in our patch um, you know we run the Legion Academy and it's run out of uh, Farnborough and just across the road from the hotel where we run the Academy is this massive exhibition centre that's put on predominantly Farnborough Air Show which is a massive international air show um, purpose built huge exhibition hall and they've got this great business expo being put on there um, and we're really excited about not just exhibiting at the show um, but also hosting what we're going to be called the Lead Gen Summit micro showcase or something less wordy than that <laughs> because um, it's at the moment the name's longer yeah, than the show yeah, you can tell. <laughs> it's almost been working for, but 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 essentially we put on the lead gen summit which is one of the largest gatherings of people talking about lead generation in the country and we want to do a one hour showcase with three amazing speakers of which you've mentioned at the top of the show um to tell people what they can do in their business to generate more inquiries to generate more profit to generate more cash Excellent. And I know you've talked about why you're doing it through that, but what are you expecting, I guess, maybe to give to people? Because you're doing a talk, you're, you're giving to them. And I guess, why are you doing that? And what are you expecting that they're going to walk away with? So important to be able to walk away from any presentation you do with some some great valuable aha moments. Um, and we we love that, the Legion Academy. We, we, we actually don't um, underestimate our audiences in any way we give them the technical top level stuff that's happening right now of how people get leads and actually showing the data behind that the beautiful thing about having Nell on board is from Action Coaches they've got this great thing called the five ways which shows you how to um, if you add a 10% more leads 10% more conversion 10% more um, the average time someone actually orders from you um, minus 10% in terms of cost all these sort of great ways um, it's not just a 10% increase in business it could be up to a 30 40 even 60% increase in business so I'm really excited about her part. Um, and then, of course, Jake, he's a ninja, and he's going to show his ninja funnel, um, ninja marketing techniques. Um, ninja automation is one of the big things he's going to be talking about as well. And for me, being Mr. Lead Gen, um, I'm going to be talking about some clever ways to generate more inquiries for your business. And do you think we can get Jake there in a proper ninja suit? I think it would be brilliant. It would be brilliant. <laughs> but as Jake says, if he puts on his ninja suit, nobody would be able to see him because he's so ninja you can't see him. So so would we be able to hear him though? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's whispering in every t everybody's ears simultaneously. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> 
Well, that sounds really great, and I really like the idea of those 10% changes because yeah. making a 10% shift in something mm. just feels, um, even emotionally, it feels achievable, where yeah. if somebody's asking you to do a complete about face, yeah. it, it feels really challenging exactly. and you put up a lot of obstacles, don't you? So if someone says to you, double your turnover next year, um, you go, oh my God, oh God that's, that's a, a fairly big challenge. But if actually someone says to you, um, put your prices up by 10%, um, put your conversion rate up by 10%, put your um, t number of clients that you win per month up by 10%, um, put the volume of leads that you get into the business by 10%, you'll be flabbergasted that those little 10% actually all add up to make it a business that could realistically double, only doing 10% extra on every single one of the five ways um, in the year. And it's first time I saw it, it, it was really eye-opening. So I hope there's some people that will come along and, and, and see the model for the first time and then understand the, how easy some of the tactics that Jake and I were going to put into a company those five ways um, that is very achievable themselves. And then, of course, if they like what we're saying, then, we, then we're running the Lead Gen Summit um, in March after the event, only a couple of weeks after the event. And, uh, and also both um, all, all three of us are putting uh, together 30 minute time slots where people can get more consultation from us that applies directly to their business. So it's one of those, n you can't miss this session because there's so much value, so much follow on content from it that you'd be crazy not to go to it. It sounds absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that I can actually step away from my stand depending on who I've got covering so that I can actually join in as well. Because I think of it'd be course. great to hear from you, from you all again. One of the things that I find when I visit a show is that I'm never too sure how to deal with acknowledging people who are on stands that maybe have something that I don't need. It might be covered. It might not be the right time for me. And I, and I worry about just being constantly sold to. So I asked Richard for some advice on how to make the most of attending the expo. If you're going as a visitor, don't try and avoid being sold to because the problem is the best conversations happen when you've got someone's attention and everybody's there to promote their business. And quite rightly, they've spent money to put a stand on, so they should be there to promote their business. But just go with a complete open mind and also go with a bit of time spare in a day day or two after the show and maybe the following week after the show to actually go, right, well, I'm going to meet some people and I'm going to follow up with some one-to-ones and book those one-to-ones with those people at the show and give yourself maybe two days after the show, give yourself a full day where you can book one-to-ones in and, and you can park yourself in a hotel and they can come in and see you. You can just get six people come in and actually see you to talk about whatever mm -hmm. you, did, you went to the show to discuss and then maybe in a week's time do the same. So you get 12 quality one-to-ones out of that show and just don't have any hang up over booking those with people that you kind of go oh, is that is there an opportunity there is there not I don't know I'm not sure find out have that one-to-one -one, expand your network and go in with this this wonderfully um, open message that you are here to do business you are here to talk to people you are here to participate in the local business economy and you want to meet people too many people just put business cards everywhere. Here's a business card. And, and then everybody just has a stack of business cards. Then you get pounded with loads of um, email communication afterwards. And you're thinking, well, where do I do and what do I do with that? Whereas book those one-to-ones, get them in the diary, and then see what happens. So really establishing that personal connection. Yes, always, always. And that's really good advice because I know sometimes I've gone and I'm kind of wandering around thinking, oh, I know I don't need that service and I, you know, so maybe I won't talk to them. But if I'm going through more of the idea of thinking, actually, I mm -hmm. just want to connect with people, yeah. then it's a completely different feel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And if they want to, if they want to have a one-to-one -one with you, great. Have a one-to-one -one with them. Happy days. <laughs> well, thank you very Pleasure. much. Pleasure. Make sure that you don't miss out by reserving your seat in advance. And here's Richard to tell you how. So we'll, we'll have a special Eventbrite link that will be reserving seats for people because we expect it's going to be the lunchtime slot. Um, so it's going to be very busy. So if people want to reserve their seats at the Micro Lead Gen Summit, um, they can do for the event by set. That gives you a free entry into the show as well. So happy days. Excellent. That was wonderful. Thank you very much, Richard. <laughs> Bridging Gaps, the business podcast, was produced by Deborah Levitt of Bridge Road Consultants Limited, with original music provided by Pete Dinley. You've been listening to Deborah Levitt on Bridging Gaps, the business podcast.